Hi everyone, this is the third video in the series. Last time, I went over all the intervals of 19-tone equal temperament. Today, I'm going to start talking about the chords of 19-tet. Let's go back to the major scale. The chords you can find here are just as you would expect. Three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished chord. These chords are built from regular major and minor thirds. What more can we make from these? What's missing is, of course, the augmented chord made from two major thirds. What's notable here is that this chord is no longer symmetrical. C and E augmented are different chords because E augmented's B sharp is no longer enharmonic to C. In fact, because nothing divides the number 19, no chord or scale is symmetrical. If you stack any interval, you'll hit all 19 notes before you come back to where you started. This chord has four notes major thirds apart, and this chord has five notes minor thirds apart. 19 tet has new intervals, not just new ways to arrange intervals. These can give us new chords. 19 tet has the sub minor and super major third. These make the sub minor and super major triad. The sub minor triad is between a sus2 chord and a minor chord. The super major triad is between a sus4 chord and a major chord. These chords can function like extra unstable versions of those suspended chords, but that's not all they can do. The sub minor and super major triads have seventh chord counterparts. Just as you would expect, there's a perfect fifth between the thirds and sevenths. The sub minor seventh chord sounds strange, but relatively stable. The super major seventh chord is quite dissonant because of the super major seventh interval. One very nice use of this chord is as a suspension above the parallel major seventh chord. The resolution to the third degree is familiar, but the resolution to the seventh definitely isn't. You can stack these new intervals in many more ways, most of which don't have names yet. If you stack only super major thirds or only sub minor thirds, you get some very interesting sounds. I especially like this one, made from only sub minor thirds or half fourths. Here's another interesting thing. If you put both the major and minor third in a chord, it sounds very dissonant, just like in 1210. However, if you use the super major and sub minor third instead, the interval in the center expands to a whole tone, making the chord much less dissonant. You would expect a finer tuning system to create new opportunities for dissonance, and that's true, but 19 tet can also reduce dissonance due to the subtleties of how intervals are tuned. Take this major 11th chord. It's a bit hard to use because of the unpleasant minor 9th between the 3rd and 11th. But 19 tet's semitones are wider than 12 tet's, which softens that dissonance. Listen carefully. It's a small difference, but an important one. It's good to remember that the tuning system you choose doesn't just tell you what structures you can use, but also how existing structures will sound. That's my overview on chords for now. There's definitely a lot that I didn't cover or just didn't think of, so I encourage you to experiment and tell me if you find something interesting. You may have noticed that I didn't mention dominant chords in particular. That's what I'll talk about next time.